Oh, hello everybody. First week of March and we've got a lovely, lovely blue sky day. Sunny, but very windy, so I apologize in advance for any wind noise. Um, just a quick update today. I've popped up to the plot to come and sort my new dahlias and um, rhubarb crowns out. They arrived um, about a week or 10 days ago and um, yeah some of them had uh, new little um, bits of growth and things on them so I thought right I, I'm not quite ready to plant them in the ground um, because a lot of the beds still need preparation and things um, well what I've done is I have put them in pots um, I'll show you in a minute um, so I've put them all in the pots um, I need to create some labels for them and I need to just water them in and then um, the next few days are supposed to be relatively mild um, the temperature at night is not supposed to drop uh, lower than about four degrees so um, what I'm going to do is just leave them outside on the little step and hopefully they'll be okay I will also show you um, what we've managed to do with the greenhouse quickly um, just where we're up to. As I said, I wanted to do the base one weekend um, and we got that done and then we wanted to build the frame the following weekend and we've managed to do that. So um, yes, I'll uh, quickly take you around and show you those uh, but first let me show you the dahlias and the rhubarbs. So here we are on the little steps that I've got next to the shed. Um, I got loads more dahlias as you can see, two here, four there, three at the top. Majority of them came from Sarah Raven. I, I love her um, dahlia collections and um, oh, for the life of me now I, of course I can't remember which ones I got so but I can put that in the description below. Um, that it's two collections that I got and then those three at the top I bought just from a garden centre or something, uh, Haley Jane. It said two dahlias, but there was a third little one in there. So I've potted that on. Whether it's ever going to do anything, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So that's it. Six Sarah Raven dahlias and then the three at the top. Um, I've also bought uh, two rhubarbs from, uh, from B&Q, Verve, as you can see. One is called Champagne and one is a Temperley Early. Um, they were on special at, at B&Q so I've picked them up. Um, I don't know if you'll remember but I had three rhubarbs in the ground last year which was their first year so I wasn't expecting to pick from them. Um, two of them died, one is there and is only just starting to come to life so, uh, so I had to get more rhubarbs this year. So I got those two and then ages ago I ordered three rhubarbs here also from Sarah Raven um, and once again I can't remember the varieties I've just left them on their packaging so one is uh, rhubarb Victoria um, apparently they're supposed to um, you, you're supposed to be able to harvest them over pretty much all of the season um, this was another this is Temperley Red second one and another Temperley Early so I've got two of those um, so yes, yeah, so I've put them in here, topped them up, just normal multi-purpose compost, um, all the dahlias as well, and then I'm just going to water them in in a minute and create proper labels so I don't have to keep the little baggies and, and, and paper bags with them. So, so that's my job for this afternoon. Um, I've got my trusty label maker and all my labels in there, so I'll just make them each a little label. Um, I love my label maker and I buy the UV stabilized tape so it doesn't fade, it's water resistant, they just don't come off so brilliant. Uh, so let me take you around to the, this is where the wind kicks in so I'm sorry about that. That's how far we are with the greenhouse. Um, as I said we've put the base down and we've built the frame so uh, Hopefully, if we get round to it this weekend, we will put the glass in. Uh, but first, I've got to go and buy 
I think it's about seven panes of glass that I've got to replace. So I will get back out of the wind and make my labels and I will show you when I'm done. Okay, so here we go. Labels made. So just a recap, we've got rhubarb temperley early, rhubarb temperley red, rhubarb victoria, all three from Sarah Raven. Um, and then on the purple labels, and that's significant because I'll tell you in a minute, uh, Sarah Raven Dahlia, Bacardi, Wizard of Oz, Purple Flame, Totally Tangerine, Melody Harmony, and then I ran out of purple labels, Labyrinth. So up to date, all my Sarah Raven Dahlias have had purple labels, even the ones that are currently in the shed. And um, anybody that knows me knows that this is going to totally grate on me, the fact that the last one does not have a purple label. It has a blue one. So do not be surprised the next time you see these that that label might have been replaced by a purple one, because having one odd one out um, will certainly annoy me until I replace it. So uh, that's just the way I am. So moving along. Um, uh, and these were the three Haley Janes. Now see here I don't mind the dahlias having a different colour label. It's just I want to keep all my Sarah Raven ones together. And then rhubarb champagne and rhub another rhubarb temperley early. So there we go. I think um, this will be all the filming I do today purely because it is so windy and the minute I move out from behind this shed it gets really really bad. So I'll crack on with a few other jobs and um, I will show you uh, on another day what I've done. See you soon. Hello again everybody. So as you can see it's up. Um, I apologize for the wind, it's a bit blustery today. So um, yeah, uh, base done, frame done, glass done. Um, I've had one little uh, incident where the last pane of glass that I went and bought, so it's literally the last new pane that I put in, also the last pane that I put in before it was finished, um, is the one that's gotten broken in the wind a couple of nights ago. So um, it's not smashed and it's not fallen out and shattered and things. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, and if it falls out, I will go and get another one, but I'm not going to replace a pane every time it cracks. So uh, because on this windy allotment site, I suspect that's going to be a lot. So for now, it's fine. A um, couple of things I need to just replace on it is um, the door seals, as you can see here, it's all brittle and so it looks like it can slide out and then I can hopefully just get a new one. So I need one on this side because that's um, knackered. And then the one on the inside um, is a bit better. It's still got some flexibility in it. Um, so maybe that one can stay for now. Um, then a couple of other things is there was one of those automatic opening thingies here um, that we've taken off because it was doing nothing and in fact I don't exactly know how you're supposed to open this thing so I still got to figure out how the whole thing works so um, I will look into what that contraption was that was on the side and I'll probably replace it and then the other thing just not stare you straight into the sun is the window as well the the, the latch the latch is broken and this thing's broken, so I will look into replacing this as well. So at the moment it's tied down, so it can't go anywhere in the wind. And um, yeah, so, so those are the things I need to look into. I've given it a preliminary scrub. Um, it's still a bit dirty, but it's a lot better than what it used to be. It was grimy, green, slimy stuff. So um, I scrubbed it down. And um, so the job that I'm gonna quickly do this morning is those are the staging benches there's one four in there the length of there and then it was set up with it that way as well um, i'm going to put one up today and just see how i go because i haven't quite decided how i'm going to use this yet 
Um, I'm probably going to make a bed on that side and maybe even along the back to the bench um, for growing tomatoes and cucumbers. So if I do that, then I won't put the second staging bench up. So, but then a friend of mine said, well, put the other staging bench up, use it for now. And then when the tomatoes are ready to go in the ground, then you just take the one out. So haven't quite decided. Um, I will put one up for today and then I'll see how I go. So um, see you again in a minute. Okay, so uh, there we go. Bench is up. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I, uh, I wouldn't put my name to the way it was put up. I couldn't get a lot of the screws further in than that. And then trying to take them out, I couldn't get them out again either. So there's quite a lot of screws, as you can see, sticking out. Um, but that's something I can sort of show my husband at the weekend. For me, it's just a case of, right, get it up because there are so many trays of seedlings at home that needs to move here. Plus, um, I have held off on sowing so many seedlings until this was up. So, uh, so that's what I'll do for today. I will move, um, well, not today, sorry, we're going on holiday, so uh, um, tomorrow. So we're going to France for a week. So when I come back, uh, all of the seedlings will come in here and everything that's ready to plant out like the onions and garlic and all of those bits and pieces, the potatoes, all of those things will get planted as soon as I'm back after Easter and uh, yes, then hopefully it's all systems go. So um, that's it from me for today and uh, I will see you again soon.